God bless you. It's Sunday, and Sundays are coming quicker and quicker and quicker. In fact, it's the first Sunday in November. I wish I could have one of those phrases that we got a, 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 a November to remember, da, 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 but that's been used already. I do want to share something uh, with you. Um, I ended the month of October in fasting. I started on a three-day fast, which wound up being an eight-day fast, and um, many of you went on that fast with me, and it was great. It wasn't uh, a normal one. It was a sacrificial fast where we had to wake up at 6 in the morning and fast from 6 a.m. to 12 noon or 1 o'clock by not eating anything after 12 in the nighttime. And I suggested that some people stop eating right at about 9 or 10 o'clock. Um, day one, we received tremendous testimonies. Day two, but we can sort of kind of feel that there was a loosing of something uh, in the atmosphere, and it just was great. Now, I am initiating a, another three days of fasting from 6 in the morning until 12 noon, and this is with instructions. I'm believing that November uh, will be the month that God will reveal unto us his total plan in the spirit realm for us for 2020. Um, he's already given me the, uh, the model or the theme that we're going to function up under for 2020. It is stay woke, stay woke. See it, say it, see it, stay woke. Um, many things are going to be happening in 2020. Of course, the elections are coming up. There's a there's a whisper of a race war. Uh, those of you that know uh, um, me and you've been watching online and seeing on television the issues with the uh, word network and um, what's been transpiring there. Um, I want to I want to do I do want to take this moment and um, uh, say to the young man uh, that was rebuked. Um, for speaking his heart uh, uh, on Wednesday night on the Word Network, I want to say to you, not for speaking up for me, but just speaking up, you weren't wrong. Uh, you, you, you were right. You were called to a, a, um, a town hall, and um, you, 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 you spoke your heart. And um, I just want to encourage you if you're moving in the prophetic forget George Bloomer forget the word network forget anybody that's associated with that if you're moving into the prophetic the prophetic is a is God speaking against systems injustice all those different types of things so if you're going to be a prophet prophets are normally in the mountains and in the valleys alone away from things by themselves so that when difficult times come they can speak to those issues. So if you're looking for applause and hand claps and people to agree with you, then you uh, uh, are going to be in trouble and you're not going to be a very effective uh, a, a, a prophet. And so um, my hat's off to you. You are articulate. And um, I don't think that you was coming from a bad place. I don't know you. Um, would like to get to know you at some point, I guess, if the Lord would allow and permit for that. I didn't even plan to say this. I just, we're going through the season of prayer and fasting, and I don't want um, this to become a fight against my brothers and my sisters. I have no conflict going on with anybody at the Word Network. None. I'm not upset with any of the preachers, any of the uh, presenters. I, I, I've not called anyone and asked anyone to come off of television or anything like that. I'm making my public statement to tell you that if you could see what I'm showing you on the text and if you could uh, um, uh, look at that and still feel okay being where you are, then, 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 that's, then that's fine. If you can take people's money and not give them their products for nine months and you think that's okay, then that's fine. If you can tell them that we're taking their money and we're furthering the gospel of Jesus Christ 
while the owner of the network is buying cars and cutting salaries and firing people so that we have to operate out of a thread. If you're okay with those things, then that's, then, then, then that's fine. That's the other half of the story that I'm going to be telling in the, the, in, the, in the next few weeks. I'm also living my life in repentance because I'm not innocent. I'm not innocent. Um, I'm, I'm not innocent and, I, and, and, and I'm broken, contrite, and bothered by the fact that I'm not innocent. I try to do what was best, but my ego got in, in the way. I should have probably walked away from that place about three years ago um, not because of any conflict with the owner, just out of the practices of people uh, sowing a seed for a Bible and never getting their Bible, things of that nature. And um, I like having my name called. I like being uh, on television. And I, I would send a person one of my Bibles and I would uh, uh, do fulfillment from my office here. Um, but I knew when I was holding up one of my books that chances were people weren't gonna see that product for about four or five weeks or maybe eight weeks or a month or so because he just wasn't going to pay. I, I knew that and I apologize for that and um, you can forgive me or not forgive me, but I'm dealing with, 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 with me. I didn't know I was gonna say all that, but I, 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 I'll tell you why. Daniel's chapter number uh, 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 10, uh, the Bible says that uh, uh, Daniel was carried away into Babylon and one day he had a vision and uh, he said, uh, it says, and I, Daniel, uh, uh, saw the vision, uh, verse number seven. And he said, I, Daniel, alone saw the vision, uh, but those who were with me, uh, a great quakening had fell upon and so they could not see what I saw. And so I, I know that there are people that can't see what I saw, or they can't even see what 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 I see. Uh, in the first year, uh, in the third year of Cyrus the king of Persia, a thing was revealed unto Daniel, whose name was Belteshazzar, and the thing was true, but the time appointed was long. Um, that's the place that I that that I'm in, and so I'm asking in my season of fasting that God would um, give me the spiritual fortitude to be strong enough to wait out what he's going to do. And uh, number one, he's going to move negativity away from us. Number two, he's going to lift up a holy standard before us. Number three, he's going to cause us to repent. I'm repenting, I'm living in repentance. And I don't mean just saying sorry, but actually turning, doing things a little bit better. I will say this, I've worked very, very hard to be honest. I wasn't always an honest person. If you listen to my testimony, you read my books, you'll know. I worked very, very hard to be honest. And, and I'm, 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 I'm sort of kind of getting there. And I don't want anything to tarnish that. And so I'll be honest and truthful with you as I'm asking you, my friends and my partners, and well wishes uh, to pray for me and then pray with me. And those of you that had the assignment to intercede, to intercede, pray as me. And let's believe God for a tremendous, tremendous, tremendous breakthrough in my own life personally. And then I can continue to do this message and to give you great victory. So let me conclude by saying, uh, starting tomorrow, so about uh, uh, 10, 11 o'clock tonight, uh, last thing goes in your mouth and you get up at 6 a.m. in the morning and you do your prayer and you pray with me and then we go through from 6 to 12 noon. This week, we're believing God for contracts. We're believing God for current contracts and brand new doors to open up for us and for God to shut the mouth of the naysayers, to shut the mouth of the critics. That's what we're believing God for. Um, during this six hour of uh, six or many hours of fasting that you awake for, uh, for six in the morning to 12 in the noon, I think is about six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, okay? Uh, I had to do it by hands. Um, uh, while you all awoke, while you awake, uh, during that six hours, I'm asking you to uh, fast from social media and definitely fast from the comments of other individuals so it doesn't get into your head and then drop down into your spirit. 
Um, and then when it's over, um, let's believe God. So you need to put together a, 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 a list of what you want God to loose from heaven and what you want him to bind from heaven. Because whatsoever things we loose on earth hath been loosed in heaven, bind on earth hath been bound in heaven. And we want you to stand in alignment with what has been loosed and bound. And as you pray, the Lord is going to open up your spirit, open up your eyes, open up your understanding. But the portal of angelic traffic will be open. And so there's the angelic traffic where the Lord will be speaking to you, to me, and to all of those that are standing together for this fast. We did it last week. Let's back back and do it this week. And both of these are calls of God. I'm not doing this to, to waste any time. I'm doing this because I hear God speaking to me about it. So the next three days, that's Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And then we'll look to see what the Lord says after that. Let me pray for you. Father, I set myself in agreement with the children of God that we would now stand in faith, righteousness, integrity, and be a blessing to the body of Christ. I pray in the name of Jesus that you would grace every person who is going to be fasting with me. Fasting of food, fasting of negativity, fasting of social media, that you would free us from it in the name of Jesus. And at the end of this fast, we will rejoice in the victory that we already have, but we're going to see it manifest in Jesus' name, amen. I'll see you in a few days.